you're someone who seems so steeped in history, you know so much about music and what came before, but you sound so contemporary. Like, uh, you don't sound like anybody else. I mean, those two things seem like they would be at odds a little bit. How do you sort of stay fresh? Like, I basically am like full of contradiction, you know? And I enjoy it. I enjoy the contradiction. I learn from it. Like, it's the thing that creates fire, that, that friction, those, those different sides. For instance, I was at one of those summer stage concerts at Marcus Garvey Park in Harlem watching the Jungle Brothers perform, right? And there's all these dancers from like the glory days of hip hop on stage killing it. And I'm watching them and I'm like, wow, the Harlem swagger when they dance is as if they're fully aware of their history. And I know they are, I know they know. Oh yeah, yeah, the Nicholas Brothers, Jack. When I'm doing my little thing, I'm fully aware of, you know, the tap dance history and all of the stuff and, and the Cotton Club and all that. And, and I could see all of that in that movement so that it, to me, it's more psychedelic to look at things that way. You know, a twist of Billie Holiday with a drop of Eric Badu or, or Lana Del Rey, if you will. Uh, <laughs> keeps it fresh. No, I enjoy it. I, I enjoy all of those worlds colliding. So why Gap, I guess I'll just say. What do you like? Because it's basic, honestly. Because, because as of right now, it's fallen into that classic basic category. And for me, I'm all about that common denominator. Like poetry is seen as some sort of highfalutin, pretentious, high art. Yet my relationship to poetry is more flam poetry, which is a more pedestrian understanding or relationship to poetry. And once again, something that I see as basic. I'll never front on denim. I think it's one of the richest aspects of American culture and creation. You know, like it's, it's, it's actually pretty cool. Mm -hmm. When I think of denim, I think of the gold rush. I think of San Francisco, I think of cotton. Yeah, it's all interconnected. Like denim, rock and roll, jazz, hip hop. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm into it. I'm into it. Yes, yes, scared money don't make none. Are you just, do little poems come in your head all the time? Like, I don't know, I just picture you sort of like having little poems coming out of your ears all the time or something. Not at all, dude. Not at all. I like writing poetry. I think it's more interesting to kind of live a poem, you know? And I try to stay uh, supple or to express my vulnerability and, and to stay open, which is to say that sometimes it's, I see it as really punk rock and hardcore to say no. And then the things that come up like this, for example, where I'm like, no, I'm gonna say yes. You know, like it's fun to throw yourself in situations and see whether it's possible to dance your way through them. Those things are the poems, essentially, is what I'm saying. It's like uh, actual poems. No. Your choices, though, are your poems. I guess. Yeah.